Hello again, everyone. It's Carly from The Poetry of Nice. Um, I have a sales update video for you guys today. This has been uh, over a one-week period um, and for Etsy and eBay. Um, it's been kind of a slow week, or it feels like a really slow week uh, this week. I've had a couple of slightly bigger ticket items which have helped kind of round up the week and make it sort of not so terrible <laughs> financially-wise. Um, but yeah it, etsy especially has been really slow so i'll just crack on and you guys can see for yourself so etsy this week i had three sales three sales for the entire week um usually at least when it's a bit busier i tend to have like one two three sales a day so you can see that this is definitely slower for me right now and again perhaps the summer thing i don't know but just keep listing and getting ready for when it finally picks up um, okay so the first thing here today is just a mug i paid 50 cents for this in an estate sale it is a precious moments mug and it's like a nurse theme um it was in pretty good shape 1995 you can see there's some spoon marks in it for sure and um, but like i said paid 50 cents in a state sale and sold it for 7.95 and um, this sale thank goodness was the, the decent one on etsy that kind of kept me going and um, i picked this up just gosh maybe like three weeks ago at an estate sale um, and it took me this long to get around to getting like the big d batteries that i needed to test this sucker out um so i actually um, went ahead and tested it it worked fantastically i was really really excited about how well it was working and how, how what a good sound quality it had um so um i listed this on etsy and on ebay and it actually sold within a day, like within 24 hours, it was it was snapped up. And I paid $5 at an estate sale for it. It is a, a Panasonic. Um, and it actually sold for $109.95. Um, okay, and this is just a little book I picked up way, way, way back, perhaps, oh my goodness, right at the beginning of the yard sale season, so right back in March, and it's just kind of sat there, but it's um, exactly what it says it is. It's for North Carolina, particularly like the Asheville area. Um, it's like a hiking guidebook, but it's from the 70s, that's wildflowers, wild birds. It was really cool and retro. I liked it. I picked it up for 25 cents, um, and it sold for five ninety five. And that's it for Etsy. Oh, oh well. <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing is this Harry Potter Gryffindor Quidditch thingy costume. Um, it did have a few little stains here, and um, which I disclosed, and I put in some extra photographs there, some close-ups of it, and it came with this like plastic wand. And this is actually all still part of it's actually the final piece yay it's all gone of a harry potter costume lot that i picked up i paid eight dollars for the whole lot it involved this shirt this wand this like plastic wand here like it's warner brothers but it's you know it's plastic made in china and this was official uh official harry potter Potter merchandise as you can see there um, and then it also came with like the little plastic quidditch that I sold separately for six dollars um, and the broomstick the quidditch broomstick I sold for eighteen dollars um, and the Harry Potter glasses I sold for six dollars I think so all in all and this was 15 for this and buyer paid shipping and all of that so what's that like oh my goodness you're looking like between 25 and 30 dollars i got out of the eight dollar investment so you know i mean I, i'm not sure that i would necessarily do it again having said that it's selling kind of out of season for costumes so maybe if i was closer to october time like fall it would have gone quicker i'm not sure but anyway um so yes uh 14.99 and buyer paid shipping um, oh, another costume. Perhaps people are ramping up to fall already. I don't know. But anyway, uh, this was a gently used, um, like a toddler 3T, 4T size uh, Angry Birds Redbird costume, obviously. Um, it was in good shape, you know, just the usual whatever it is. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it just is what it is. But, um,. It didn't photograph so well. You can tell these some of my early photographs right on the kitchen floor. Oh, oh my goodness. But anyway, I paid two dollars sixty for this in a lot of a bunch of costumes and it sold for fourteen ninety nine and two dollars and forty five dollars uh, shipping because it was very light. Um okay, this tea towel, it was like a vintage one, it was Belgian linen. Um I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale and I took a best offer of eighteen dollars and I paid two forty five shipping for it. Um, oh, this was interesting. Well, I thought it was interesting anyway. So obviously a copy of Alice in Wonderland, but it was a bit of a mystery, really. It didn't have like any copyright dates in it. It was all a bit sort of, 
I, I don't know. I didn't really know what to make of a lot of it. This was sort of all the information that it came with. But it was beautiful. Some of the illustrations were just absolutely fantastic. So anyway, I kind of popped it up and I had a few lowball offers on it and I decided to stick with it just because it was a bit odd really and it was definitely old I mean you could tell that from just looking at it and and whatnot and some of the wear to it but anyway I got it for 25 cents at a church rummage sale and it sold for 29.95 and buy a paid shipping Um, I picked up this Snoopy rubber stamp from a thrift store I actually paid four dollars for it Um, when I first picked it up it was rare <laughs> like there was there was maybe like two solds entirely and so I threw it up originally for oh my goodness I think it was close to forty dollars and it sat and sat and while it sat there a bunch of people listed and kind of undercut me to the point where it was selling for like nine dollars instead so I guess the market just got flooded all of a sudden I don't know so obviously no longer rare um, but I decided to stick it out somewhat and I lowered my price by twenty dollars twenty nine ninety nine anyway long story short I ended up taking a best offer of twenty dollars and buy a paid shipping which is fine for a used rubber stamp I mean that's that's awesome but I was hopeful I would get a little bit more <laughs> Um, I picked this up at a yard sale for a dollar um, I've kind of lowered this price as summer's gone on and the season's kind of passing me by and I ended up taking $9.99 and buy a paint shipping it's just like a little life vest and kind of a swimsuit thing um, combination another small sale paid a dollar for this this was new without tags just like a security blanket lovey thing a taggies one um, and yeah paid a dollar at a yard sale and I took 10.99 and buy a paid shipping and picked these up for 50 cents at a yard sale they're like safety earmuffs for people who are shooting and whatnot it's definitely an older model of this brand um, but they were in fantastic condition I mean they've barely been touched and uh, paid 50 cents and took 9.99 and buy a paid shipping so a lot of small sales made up uh, the majority of this week um, another Ray-Ban case picked it up for 25 cents and it sold for 9.99 with buy a paying shipping I can do that all day every day and it just kind of adds on to you know whatever I make by the end of the week Um, this was a breast pump and <laughs> um, it was new in box the seal was broken um, but inside everything was just untouched um, and um, this was actually free this was given to me as a gift when I had my second son and I did not need it and um, so I decided to go ahead and uh, list it and it sold for my full asking price of $74.99 with buyer paying shipping which is good because you can kind of see here it retails for a lot more but they were just not going to anything like comparable to this up on eBay and honestly the reviews were not so good for this one so I was I was happy to take 75 bucks and get it out of my house and make some money um, sold another hat I took a best offer of 12 for this it's a hot rod magazine just like a baseball cap uh, like a velcro back uh, so yes I paid three dollars I think for this actually I think that was what it was at a thrift store and so twelve dollars eh, you know buy paid shipping at least it's gone and then finally I can't remember if I showed you guys this last week but if not if I did bear with me if not I have gotta show you it because it's heinous <laughs> it is an intensely ugly ugly Christmas sweater and um, but I picked this up for 33 cents at the church rummage sale a little bit of loose stitching down here but nothing too terrible just everything you could possibly imagine thrown onto one oversized sweater vintage sweater uh, and I took a best offer of $15 and buy a paid shipping and this sucker was heavy <laughs> and that is everything for uh, for this week um, so my kind of gross total was uh, 364.73 the amount I spent on investment on these items was $25.13 total after all of shipping taken off the cost of buying the items and the fees for both Etsy and eBay taken off my net total for this week was $336.31 all right guys thank you so much for tuning in for another sales video if you liked it Give me a thumbs up let me know it was okay um, feel free to leave comments let me know if there's anything you want to see or anything you would like me to try and do differently some more information that you would like me to include anything like that feel free to subscribe if you want to see some more and guys I hope you have an awesome week thank you so much bye